Peace. I've had people tell me that we need religion in order to be ethical. That without religion, we wouldn't have a moral compass. Without religion, we wouldn't be able to determine right from wrong. We need religion to instill order, discipline, and all that good stuff. That's pretty laughable to me because when you trace the history of religion, you come across crusades, holy wars. You come across a lot of hypocrisy. You come across a lot of slaughtering, killing, murdering. All because groups of people did not convert over to certain religions and they were considered heathens and pagans and things of that nature. So it's almost as if religion destroys your moral compass because there are more killings that have went down under the name of religion than the amount of killings that have went down via people who do not subscribe to religion. That's an insult to the mind, to the body, to just human intelligence, to think that we do not naturally know right from wrong. That's an insult to human intelligence to say that we need religion in order to determine right from wrong. By nature, we are righteous people. By nature, we are able to determine right from wrong. Where do you think a lot of these religions got their principles from in the first place? That was us determining what's right from wrong, inserting them into these religions. And then some of these religions just copied off the religions that preceded them. So let's stop insulting human intelligence. Now, don't get me wrong. You can study some of these religions and their principles. And if you abide by them, you can come out right and exact. But that's the problem. Most people do not abide by the principles within their religion. Hypocrisy, contradiction, and things of that nature. But yet people feel as if the world would actually be a better place if everybody just subscribed to a religion because we need it in order to be ethical. I find that very insulting because I do not subscribe to any form of religion. And I am one of the more ethical per people that you will come across. And I have been around a lot of religious folks that are very non-ethical deceivers, pimps, players, opportunists. It's hard to trust them. But yet we are the heathens. We are the pagans for not, for not subscribing to the nonsense. Like don't insult my human intelligence like that. I don't need a religion to know right from wrong. I don't need a religion to be righteous. I don't need a religion to be peaceful. I don't need a religion to be disciplined. I don't need a religion to instill order in my life and within my universe. All I need is life. I learn from life every single day. I get a lot of lessons and principles just by living life. It's just that simple. I don't need a religion to tell me thou shall not kill. That's common sense to me. Most of the people that's out here killing each other, killing us, they subscribe to religion. They subscribe to that religion that is telling them thou shall not kill. Yet they are doing it anyway. So do not insult my intelligence like that.
Religion is not needed in order for me to be ethical, in order for you to be ethical. That is not going to solve the many problems that exist within this country and around the world. Because we've had religion and we've had wars that have went down under the name of religion simply because people didn't want to convert over. Religion is problematic. I've said it back then and I will say it again today. It's very problematic. You will do just fine in life without a religion. I lost my religion years ago and I've been more peaceful. I've been more centered. I'm elevating. Faster than I've ever elevated before. Higher than I've ele ever elevated before. And that's because I'm not shackled down by any belief system. So for those of you out here that seriously believe that we need a religion in order to be ethical and determine right from wrong and to instill discipline and order. I feel sorry for you. Because that's a sad way to live life. You insulting your own intelligence by believing that. Remove the shackles from your mind, man. Drop that religion. Embrace science. Embrace life. Embrace nature. And you will see what I'm talking about. Peace.